be sure. Let me share the screen here. And explain. Make sure you explain about it being a part of the system and that association. Start, start sharing. Okay, so you can see my screen there. Yes, I do. Okay, so this toroid is just there for a, a geometrical reference. It just it's not actually doing anything. It just kind of symbolically represents a magnetic field where it would be. Now on the right hand side of the model here, I have two groups of vortexes, which are just like tornadoes, tornadoes, you know, spinning tornadoes that are pointing towards the center. As I highlight this object here, you'll see it, that yellow line, right? So there's, there's a bunch of those in there. There's actually 16 of them and I'll highlight them all. There. And I'll render that just so you can kind of see a little bit better. So that's, so they're all pointed towards the center, but they're arranged in what we call the linchpin configuration. I want to pretend like you never heard of that before. <laughs> so there's one on the top and then three in groups of three around that are spaced at 120 degrees apart and the tilt of these ones on the bottom here is 109.5 degrees in relationship to the top ones that are creating this flat space on the top and the bottom and they're spaced at 120 degrees radially and then inside the model is uh, three groups of particle systems with known masses up to a thousand pounds from 2.2 pounds to a thousand pounds and there's no gravity whatsoever in this model there's no center attractor so it's just vortexes and two two magnetic fields a north and a south polarity and one harmonic resonance which is emulating a vibration in the field in this region here where these vortexes are pointed. So it kind of just oscillates to give it a little bit of randomness in motion so that the particles will kind of interact and bounce around like smoke <coughs> or water, waves and water. And then when I hit play, it does it all by itself using physics simulation. So there's no animations at all in this model. And when I play it, this is what pops out. And then when I look down at the top, it makes the actual hexagon that NASA has observed on the top of Saturn without any gravity. And you'll see that the, you get a surface of the sphere on the inside with the heavier particles. So the colors so are, of, you, are you basically saying, is this saying that you guys can recreate planets? <laughs> Yes, it, this is a this is a particle simulation of the physics involved in making of the planet Saturn, wow. Include, the, like all the yeah. yeah. So the the heavier particles are creating the the red and the green here where the hexagon is, and those are the heavier ones creating the shell of the planet, and then the outside are lighter particles that are a fluid that's creating the counter rotation of the uh, atmosphere of Saturn, like we observe scientifically and the red ones in the middle here are where the magnetic field is strongly polarized at the north and south poles which gives you aurora borealis now, yeah. i have a question now does this mean that you would be able to control what kind of atmosphere um, the planet has as well that you can change that because you can create it that means you can change it we now have a system by which you can it's the arrangement of linchpins and the axis upon which they are spinning in relation to each other and or vibrating and by doing that we can create the condition any condition that we want so you can have human life here is what you're saying we can recreate life. if you if you were able to if you're able to uh change and alter these external fields and had an understanding like at least this would give us a method of studying it in such a way that we now understand 
that it's external pressures being applied from the outside in, not, not the standard model where you have internal fission reaction in a nuclear in a planet with magnetic fields from iron cores, etc., going outward. Right? That's all. That's all kind of ego-based at the center. This is pretty solid evidence that everything we're observing is from the outside coming in. So the entire universe is actually creating these planets from the outside in, from space itself. The pressure. Returning waves. Yeah. It's the returning waves that are creating the geometry that we call reality. And yeah, it's like. That's crazy. It's crazy. It's like Saturn is a reflection. It's like a mirror reflection of the external forces that are creating it. So this is where matter slows down. Now, right? this is Saturn. Have you done this with the other no, planets? Just did, this today. just did this today. This is crazy. No, no, no. Yeah. Now show her. Now show her the galaxy. And then the other one I've done. Yeah, so let me do a save just in case to make sure I don't lose any. Open recent. Uh, I think it's the second one. So this one is similar except it's a whole lot simpler. Where galaxies are so large, there's no central magnetic field in this one. The strongly polarized, there's only essentially one weak magnetic field and only four vortexes and two particle systems of different mass. Because it's not, it's not like a spherical type of system, right? So it's only basically two poles, essentially, or single pole, really. And so what happens when I play this one, it's the same idea, you just have two particle systems. Now let's go back to the front and play it. So this is, the matter is essentially coming from inside wow. the galaxy and being unwound, right? It's unwinding like a spiral in reverse. And if I stop it at exactly 504 frames of iterations, it should be large enough to. It takes a minute to process because there's over 300,000 particles in this system. Wow. Let me get to 504. It's a pretty close match. Let's go back. That's 506. So you see, it's almost perfect, right? It's actually the, the groupings of the particles. 504 is almost bang on. 504, right at the nine. Yeah, 504 frames, like actual frames. Yeah. And then, when you look at it on the side, this is a this is an image from NASA of our local galaxy, and the angles involved. So they, <laughs> right? So this is the sweep of our own galaxy, the Milky Way, from NASA, at 60 light years across. Right? And then when they look at it from the front. Look at how it sits into NASA's picture of the galaxy. Right. Look at it, and then I love the fact that the, at the tips of it, you have those tentacles coming off. Yeah. You know, showing the full direction of what it's about to do, that really laying out the field ahead of time before right. the particles or the semblance of particles, the waveforms will hit it, will illuminate it. So you, you kind of like you can see how the distribution of the mass, like when you look compared to NASA's picture, right? So you have this. Yeah. Sort which of one is NASA's picture at the top? The one on top. Yeah. This one right here. Yeah. Yeah. So you can you can see how it, you can see how it's split, right? So the Milky Way has these. It's like an X in the middle because there's division of mass. Yeah, that's that that's that shift, the red, the, the shift they keep saying right. points to a black hole. Right. Because they have the wrong. Um, they they work with mm -hmm. <laughs> Now 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 fold it up again to where it fits right underneath it. 
I'm right. Yeah. Yeah, from the front. So there's the front view. Yeah. Yeah. It just predicts the entire thing. Yeah. And so he's too. Well, you guys gotta get like. And no one from Blue Origin has wanted to talk to you yet? Um, nah, they haven't talked to Spinnett. They, you know, they probably ignored Vince when he first took it in there, or they're secretly trying to work on it. Because Vince has gone um, oddly quiet since I sent him the book. But that book has that kind of effect on people. People get afraid to respond to it as if, you know, thinking they're the only people that got a copy of it, and that means that somebody can come and wipe them out. <laughs> you know, if they act, if they even acknowledge that they received it. Funny. You know. So just the, the the clincher of this, I think the clincher is like when I look at it, I put the, on the sphere here, and I can show you the. This is the the settings for the particle physics, and you can see that just to confirm that gravity is set to zero. There's no gravity in here at all. So all I'm using is, board, is these four vortex forces. And that's what it predicts. That's that's what comes out of it. Right? And they point towards the center and they, they spin. And that's just 300,000 particles. Yeah. Yeah, there's about 300,000, I think. That's basically 300,000 all shapes. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's and one lynch and then in with the, the action being the with the action being in all shape. Yeah. So. Yes. So let's so why don't we you know see it find a way to turn each of those particles into to represent an all shape. Yeah, I can turn Is these into possible? I can turn these into individual all shapes and then see how it, it'll be the same. It'll just these will be these will be all shapes in the same positions, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, it's literally, or, yeah, you know, and and then from that all shape, you can, you know, go in close on one and show that the interior of that all shape is the, the, the scaffolding called the linchpin. Right. You know, the linchpin creates little versions of itself continually, and I think that tie-in in that because then remember, we're, we've already you're gonna we've already going to explain the four forces coming in together to make the all shape and the linchpin and all of that stuff. It's just it just keep re re bringing the message back around. Because mm -hmm. remember, we're looking at now we're looking at the universe from the dark side, and so we wouldn't see the stars. We wouldn't see the expansive part of the star because now we're really focusing on the contractive parts, those things pushing down on it. So, you know, like putting on those glasses that allows you to see, um, ultra, you know, ultraviolet or, right. yeah. you know, night vision glasses, you know, we have to remember we're looking from the shadows. So we show that with the individual particles. We show it as if it's from another dimension. As if we're, as if the, it's the shadow looking at the light. It's the reflection. No, yeah, exactly. It's the inverse. Yeah. And then it'll still build the flower, and then it'll be easier to see those coming back together into the flower of life. Or you can bring all those spheres together, and they'll do the same thing. But I think tying it in, and each one, um, as it vibrates, um, as it touches the other one. The energy transfers over, and that one comes alive and looks like a, and expands. The, the this center, the flame in the center expands and become a full, full circle, and then as that contracts, the uh, the next one comes out. You know, you you see what I'm saying. So you still go back and forth from the sphere, to mm -hmm. the all shape, from the sphere, or from the linchpin to the all shape, to the sphere, to the to the linchpin, to the all shape. You know and keep going back and forth and allowing that to become the um, oscillations that's happening between each and every one of those star systems. You you guys get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, I can, I can, like, for the, I can 
certainly put in a, a linchpin in here and then make all these particles all shapes in you know certainly for the dramatic effect of it as well right and explain it the same way with yeah the script, so I'm with saying, the script. Yeah. yeah you started like this and then remind them that each and every one of these bright things that we see is the result of four forces coming together at the atomic this, level which is still a, it's still a linchpin in an all shape yeah like yes, atomic. it's like yep. and it's all of these, and yep. then you show a cloud of them moving over here, and then when they reform, they form into the flower of life, and you're like, that's Bang. why this yeah. sat underneath this. That's yeah. why this was sitting underneath the poo poo dolls, because it gives us the keys to creation. Absolutely, yeah. it's amazing. Eh? So, how was my presentation, Mirror? Is she still there? Is she gone? Yeah. She's no, she's sitting here. Yeah. Jaw gate talking crazy. about she's now we've got to figure out where we're going to move to because you know they have no recovery from this and they'll be angry about this. Yeah. That's the tricky part is explaining it in a way that you think will make sense, right? Because when, when I'm doing this stuff, like the stuff going through my head, it's just you wouldn't want to be in there at the time. <laughs> yeah. They'll think it's preposterous. Or possibly, most likely, what they're going to say is like it's ridiculous. They, they can't be predicted. I think it's going to be first response. It's shock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, it's a shock. Yeah. And then it's the realization, and then it's the fear, because human nature is to murder or dissect anything that they believe is, you know, anything more than they know. Right. They don't like anything unknown. Right. It'll be fear and then ridicule and then. And then how do we contain it? Yeah. yeah. How do we stop it and contain it? This is a problem. What's the spirit? The spirit of the presentation and the narrative. You know, how, how do you, how do we how do we sculpt that so it you know. It, 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 that's, yeah. 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 She says we gotta just we we should make the videos and all of that stuff and let it and be in remote places and let it play from there. <laughs> be in remote places, yeah. <laughs> Run for the oh, do it. the bomb. Always do it remotely, <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah. right, I'll disclose location, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, yeah. this is, like when we first started talking, um, remember DJ, we started talking about that yeah. for the building of the celestial alignment because right. I said, I figured once the book came out, I thought they would be smart enough and would get it there. But the, I mean, but the, they don't. the MO is basically, you know, just just get it get it off get it off the radar through through ignoring as much as possible and creating an environment to scoff and ignore. You know, mm -hmm. this is this is the game that has been played, you know, many 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 times. So it, it's play it's playing to our advantage in this case because we're just creating more and more content. You know. Yeah, but, all right, well, thank you for doing that. We got to get back to the packing game. Yeah, no, thanks okay. for letting me practice on Mirror there, too, and then nice speaking to her again, as always. No, it was nice to have her, and to do it a second time was, um, it was like watching the something in subtitles, and then yeah. you s slowly begin to understand the language. And I'm hearing it the second time, I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Oh, now I fully see. But still, we're looking from this little bitty phone. Yeah. Today, we got some iPads that we can really look from. But I'm like. Oh, cool. All right. Did you record that, DJ? Because I was. I did. Decent. I did. Okay, good. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, we could, we could type that out, and that's the, that's the dialogue. Okay, I'll go. post I'll post that so you have it. Yeah. I'll, yeah I'll on, the, on the on the THP. Yeah, that's a great way to do yeah, that. Yeah, we've got to do that with the DNA, too. Yeah, yeah they're up there. They're up there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 And we can, um, we can do it. Time to make boxes. I will talk to you all. Um... <laughs> Whatever. We're on all of that. We're on. <laughs> just, just check in. <laughs> Thank you for that. Yeah. Oh, you're I was, welcome. I was, so, I was so excited I had to share that. I had to. Nice. Had, she had to see it. She had to see it. It's magnificent. It's fun to share it with her. Yeah, it's great fun. Yeah. Yeah. It's always oh, good to have a, have a 
have a dry run on is it impromptu with a you know with a, with an audience with an unknown audience yeah, it's awesome thanks for that man. Like, come on uh, sing a song come on yeah man, come on sing man. it yeah you just throw it up and sing it anyway yeah and then the shots is the good gunshots at the feet. Right. 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 Really, and I had shown her your column earlier. Dude. Oh, good. Okay, and cool. It's just like we're there. It's so, uh, it's uh, the flow. Right, the I'll flow is flowing. Yeah. Have a good night, man. Okay. All right. All right take care. Thanks. Bye bye.